Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunder Mist Lure Company and our viewers have been writing in recently asking us to give a demonstration on how to clean catfish. So today we'd like to show you exactly that. Okay, so what we have here, we have about a 12 pound channel cat that Claudio is going to demonstrate how to uh, fillet this fish. And actually with a fish this large, you have the option to cut him into steaks rather than filleting. Uh, so you can, you can actually take the knife and cut them into uh, nice sized steaks if you like. But for today's purposes, we're going to show you how to fillet this catfish. You don't need any special tools, pliers, or anything of that nature. All you need is one sharp fillet knife. And it should be noted that catfish have a lot of flavor in the skin. So ideally, you don't even want to remove the skin. So, but if you want to leave the skin on, you should remove the slime. So Claudio can show us here what you want to do to remove the slime is you want to scrape that skin right down until there's no slime left. And you want to do that for the entire fish. And if you try to wash that slime off uh, in the sink, it just simply won't work. You have to actually get a knife, in this case it's a duller knife, and just uh, keep sliding back and forth and you can see the amount of uh, slime that Claudio's removed there. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, this fish is actually similar to a trout uh, in the way the bone structure is. It has one bone right up the middle and then it has a bone around the, around the rib cage. So Claudio's going to make an incision there uh, just behind the head and uh, he's going to begin the process right down to the rib cage. Uh, this one actually has a big belly and I should mention there is a lot of meat uh, in the belly um, as Claudio is now cutting, uh, cutting right along that backbone. So you want to cut right along that backbone uh, towards the tail fin. And with that belly meat, we're going to leave that belly meat on the fish. Uh, a, a fish this size, there's a lot of fat that accumulates in that belly. And uh, if there's any contaminants in the water that you're fishing, those contaminants are going to be found in the fat, which typically would be in the belly. So for today's purposes, we're going to leave that belly uh, meat there, but you of course can do as you wish. So Claudio has been running his knife along that backbone, and uh, he's continuing to run uh, right along that backbone. Uh, and you also notice a fish this size, he has them on his belly. It's easier to work this catfish this size by leaving them on his belly. And uh, you cut right behind the head, like so. And when you get to the rib cage, what you're going to do is you're going to cut around the rib cage. So um, keep working the knife uh, along the bones, and you'll be able to feel them as you uh, as you continue working the fillet. You'll be able to feel those knives, uh, or sorry, those bones, and you just run your knife uh, along those uh, along those bones. So you can see there he's going right around the rib cage, and um, right to the tail end, along the backbone. And the beauty of that fillet is there will be absolutely no bones in that fillet. That's uh, solid meat. And you see he's left the, the fish uh, attached, uh, sorry, he's left the fillet attached to the fish. And by doing that, he can now run the knife between the skin and the meat. Uh, and it's easier to hold that way. Uh, some people will use a fork on a board or something of that nature, but uh, if you leave it on the fish, it'll, it'll hold it there, get you started, and then you can just continue with your hand and uh, continue removing the skin. And there you have, uh, he's just finishing up here, and you have one completely boneless uh, fillet. And that's now ready for washing and ready for the frying pan. If you wanted to, you can, uh, if you notice a fish a fillet this size, you can also remove, there is some more fat on that. You can see because the, uh, the fillet is discolored and there's also that dark muscle meat. So if you want, you can remove that dark muscle meat. It's just a, a thin layer right under, the, uh, right under the skin as you can see there. And you remove that dark muscle meat and you're removing some, um, some uh, meat that's maybe not necessarily the best tasting. And, uh, and that's about it, folks. It's, uh, it's that simple. You do the same thing to the other side, and you have uh, two nice boneless uh, channel cat fillets. So until next time, folks, I wish you all the best, best of luck on the water, and good luck filleting. One last thing, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos by clicking on the button most likely found right over here, as we have a lot more fish catching action coming your way. And if you haven't yet, be sure to check out our website at thundermissfishingtips.com as we have a lot more articles there and fish catching advice for you. So until next time, good luck and good fishing.